Joe's and Marie, oh, the man who stole the show. You're the special one, and you're Dynamo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jose, Jose Mourinho. We you're love special, you, Jose. Jose. We love you. <laughs> you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> on mm. Thursday. Right. Our new feature. It's the Ramble WhatsApp group. It is. Things oh. that have been discussed on the WhatsApp group that we have together. Have a, have a dip in the group, Peter. Have you got a little, you got a little jingle for that, Pete? No, no we haven't got a jingle. For God's I'm, sake. I'm waiting, the, I'm waiting for my voiceover man to come through. He hasn't, oh, got, okay. he hasn't come through yet. All right. Okay, fine. Do you, do you want the inner workings yeah. of the football ramble and my, you know, sat in front of a hot cauldron of audio? <laughs> yeah, carry me. on. Me? You want that? Of course Peter, I do. Peter, you're... The, the what? voiceover man. No, he lost. He lost the uh, lost the lost gig. Lost the gig. Did Pinchy he? again? Pinchy took it off. Pinchy took it off me. <laughs> Pinchy did every vo- every voiceover ever. Buy this. Donald, He's in Ready Player One. Donaldson does the job. <laughs> Pinchy, Pinchy is the um, get in Pinchy's, the WhatsApp group. Pinchy's the the Google of voiceovers. <laughs> Everyone just goes to him straight away. Now it's time for the Rebel WhatsApp group. The only time anyone goes to Donaldson is just to see if they've got he's got Finchy's number. Like being, <laughs> it's like being in Google. <laughs> All right. Well, Finchy's not here, so we're going to have to yeah. ask Pete. Uh, what is in the rock? What, what, I've what got something, Pete, but you go first. Uh, right. Well, I mean, I always thought, uh, Marcus, you were going to be doing this, but we, we, no, no, we're sharing them got... around. We're sharing them around oh, over okay. stories. So, all right, well, we'll start with the Newcastle fan with his knob out. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted good. to give you the pleasure of saying that. Pleasure? <laughs> he's one of your own. <laughs> he's one of your own. <laughs> he, uh, he got, he's been banned, Marcus, for three years. Uh, from the ground, mm. uh, from football grounds. Uh, so that's, after a, that's a stiff punishment, that. That is a stiff punishment. He's, he's a youth team coach as well. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, not not that's at the club. Not, not at, at the, the club, club, no. But in general. No. I mean, that's still poor behaviour. That's really no. poor behaviour. Three years is harsh. Yeah. Just for a little, it was, showing it a bit was, of knob. It, it was a bit of knob. <laughs> oh, the whole thing was... Three, three it was, years for doing the old Don Atchison. It's very it was, it was Actually, shaking his member at Spurs, at Spurs fans for five to ten seconds was what the court heard. More than one, <laughs> more than three shakes you're playing with it. Yeah, that's, that's the rule. It's an estimate, but I imagine time a, goes very slowly when a man's waving his penis in your face. Fifty-eight, a match. fifty-eight-year-old grandfather Keith Steinmetz. <laughs> that's the key. That's the key. Said it was a, a moment of sheer stupidity after shaking his member at the Spurs fans back in May at Wembley uh, during a match. I think we lost one 0 Harry Kane scoring. Yeah, that probably Pete, happened where does in the it's, I... at Wembley. Saved him for the big stage. <laughs> <laughs> the home of Willie Waving. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, can I just ask, as you're a Newcastle fan, and you are obviously the spokesperson within this room for this, where does this rank? Is it above or below punching of the, the punching of the horse? Oh, it's definitely below punching the horse. As as it's punching not of the good. horse yeah. worse. His, his defense... Yeah. more notorious. His yeah. defense in court said uh, he will be a church mouse when he goes to matches in the future. <laughs> he will ensure that he doesn't drink it all and ignore any goading. I would argue him getting his church mouse out... <laughs> Is keep, the problem, keep the really. mouse in the house, as they yeah, say. Keep yeah, keep the mouse in the house. He's got to wait three years before he can go again, hasn't he? I know. That's before he can gourd again. Well, there's not really anywhere to go after that, but the one something I'd like to bring to the table the is, toilet, maybe? is the toilet, <laughs> With that skin, not having it. True. But, yeah, I'm thinking uh, Chicago might be a pretty good uh, choice. Good it, gets, it gets quite hot, gets quite cold as well. I think well. Wayne Rooney's thinking, stop following me everywhere. <laughs> Why are you following me again? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, we wanted to see Big Sam, obviously, because Big Uncle Sam. We heard from Big Sam earlier, works, of course. We yeah, did, yeah. yeah. It's unlikely now. But I, I think Moyes wouldn't be a bad appointment. I bumped into Big Sam about two weeks ago. Or was it a week ago? I'll tell you about that. I don't think you and, did. And I think... Uh, and I'm still feeling did I, it. Did I tell my Big Sam story? No, go for it. You tell your... My Mine's rubbish. Big Sam story. Mine's just that he was a lot more cheerful than I was expecting him to be. No, I don't think... He, yeah, I, I think that's... Did I, I can't, did I say this on the... You can't pull the wool off of my eyes. With him in the, back, in the car with Sammy Lee. Did I tell that on the ramble? Just tell it again. Oh, All right. Again, it's boring. Did, I, did it. I say that? Oh, I, <laughs> I have said it. it. I have, no, I've said it. I've said it. All right. Well, you if know. we haven't said it, we're fucked, aren't we, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> no, I on. have. I have, because cameraman Sam's not going to say Do a real quick pricey of it for people who haven't heard that episode. Yes. Like All right. Okay. okay. Fair one. Uh, Big Sam was being interviewed uh, in the back of a car because they were in transit, and I think it was probably the only um, free bit of time that he could, he could yeah, give yeah, for yeah, a particular yeah. interviewer. Um, and uh, they weren't parked up or anything. <laughs> and. Uh, and, and he's interviewing Big Sam, and Sammy Lee was in the car with his trousers off because apparently he doesn't like to, to, to wear his trousers when, when traveling. What? When driving. I, do, I would have remembered this story. <laughs> yeah. Tell man me, off, I, man, after Pete's heart, he'd have remembered this. Definitely. Tell me, he had adult diapers on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and it seemed that Sammy Lee's. Uh, 
I suppose, task in all this was to uh, take <laughs> out was to take out um, Werther's originals from the packets, yeah. uh, unwrap them, and hand them to Big Sam. <laughs> right now, you right, you told me that story, but you did not tell me the um, the man he had no trousers on while he was doing it. That presents a whole different image for me. I like the idea, I mean, of, and naked. one that does not tally with the world's original, um, you know, Brand. hard butter candy Brand advert. values. I remember when Grandad used to remove his trousers and give me <laughs> his delicious butter candy. Um, you can imagine Big Sam saying to Sam Lee, "You're ready to unwrap my Werther's, yeah? <laughs> unwrap yourself first. <laughs> <laughs> unwrap the Lee, yeah. Then unwrap the candy. Big Sam's having his Werther's." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I've told that story, but it's worth recounting. I don't I recall tune that in, piece Tune of in this time next week to hear it again, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> there we are. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. It's time to open the WhatsApp group. It is time to open the WhatsApp group. Probably and I've just remembered we've got a little jingle. And here... I mean, I pointed at the thing. <laughs> that. Well, why don't you points. point your finger a little bit further? When he next points. To the yeah, iPad, sorry, probably. sorry. I apologise, everybody. I'll point my finger a bit further. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that? No, I've not got a jingle. No, we haven't got a jingle. For God's sake! It's the WhatsApp. You do have a jingle. It's the WhatsApp uh, group, everybody. You you can tell that Pete's not got to be in his bonnet about the jingle by listening to the jingle. Oh, now then, how point many, your finger how, a bit further. How big is this bonnet that you always say I've got bees in? It's massive because yeah, there's so many bees in it. It's a ridiculous <laughs> it's a place hive. to put bees. <laughs> no, not they got flowers on them. Oh, the yeah, whole point is a bonnet's bonnet. got flowers in it. Yeah, but it? why is the why are the bees? That makes it sound like the bees are inside the bonnet this, where the flat. You're right. Get you're the right, Peter, you, you don't your have bonnet, any, mate. You don't have any bees yeah. in your bonnet. No. No. Pete, how many? How many? How many irate people would be in their bonnet? Do you see around here? <laughs> be on my bonnet. This could be a regular. Be buzzing around in my bonnet. No, it's in your bonnet. Why is it in my bonnet though? Well, you tell me. Yeah, but in my bonnet would be underneath the hat. That's the saying. Yeah, I know, but it's a ridiculous saying and it shouldn't You've be used. you literally got to be in your bonnet about the phrase be in your bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right I am. Last I'll take that one. Last week he, he got genuinely quite annoyed because of the phrase monkey on your back. Yeah. Yeah. I'd quite like to have a monkey on my back. Yeah. Just Tearing could be a regular feature. Damn right. It is a top ten list of monkeys I let on my back. <laughs> Rhesus. <laughs> Woolly. Langer. You're not going to do ten. Um, You're never going to do capuchin, ten. Capuchin. <laughs> spider. They've got prehensile tails. Mm. Um... <laughs> That's five. Uh, that is five. You don't yeah. get any further. Um, you should have said five. Well, the little, right? two what of about each? the little money? Tamarind. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's fine, yeah. Uh, howler, the, howler. The, howler. 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 <laughs> no, you just said any yeah. monkey you yeah. could think um, of. Proboscis. Right. Proboscis. What kind of bees do you want in your bonnet? <laughs> yeah. uh, what are the big ones? Macaque. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's nine. Oh, I just need one more monkey. One uh, more monkey. That's all I need. What are the ones that look like David Bowie in Labyrinth? Oh, oh, they're little monkeys, little well, baby have, uh, little tropical monkeys. That's no, that's monkey. an ape. It's an ape, Jim. Just big, have uh, big, big Ross's chain. monkey from Friends, and we're done. That's a okay. spider monkey. You no, it's him. not. Capuchin. I've yeah, already said it. One more. Um, it doesn't matter, Pete. Uh, can I, I'm now thinking of you with a monkey on your back, and that monkey's got a bonnet on it. Yeah. With a bee in the bonnet on the yeah. monkey. Seeing, on hearing, and speaking an awful lot of evil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, poorly at some point within the next. Marcus, 30 just years. move on. We've, we've we've dealt with this so many times. Talk, I've forgiven you. <laughs> talk about Partick Thistle. All right. That's yeah. what I want to talk this about. Let's talk about Partick, uh, currently second bottom of the Scottish Championship. They recently went on a field trip. Uh, their manager, Gary Caldwell, uh, took his side uh, for the day to spend time with the British Army Parachute Regiment. Now, we remember Southgate taking the England players off for a little camping trip with the army and so Ca- on. And they... Capello took them on a mountaineering thing, didn't he, just before the World Cup? That was a, that was a very bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> You've had a long season, lads. Let's do some altitude training in the Alps. Yeah, um, uh, yeah so, so we know that some football teams, they, they'll do this kind of team-building kind of exercise. Well, uh, their striker, Chris Doolan, said, we went up the hills. We had a, a shot of their night vision. I wouldn't even went to Craig Brown. There, just he did, yeah. Um, I like this. He said, uh, We had a shot of their night vision, a wee look at their guns and artillery. <laughs> just, just a wee look at the guns. Yeah. Uh, and we assumed that. Um, so it's going to be on the exam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we assumed that's uh, what the full day was going to be. But the players were taken into. They, so they were split up quite suddenly into different groups, taken to different checkpoints, had to run about four to five miles in between each checkpoint. They had to carry logs, 20 litre cans of water and stretchers with, I suppose, sort of fake casualties on up and down hills. And they were thinking, hang on, what is this? No, they were actual casualties. (laughs) Yeah, probably. They hurt themselves. (laughs) Um, After they'd finished, they thought to themselves, well, that was a bit of a flipping arduous day. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, um, the SAS turn up. Um, they were they were in they were in a sort of uh, what, 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 just, um, camouflage. 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 They, they were they basically 
they didn't ghillie suits. They didn't phone ahead that they were going to turn up, shall we say? <laughs> we part have got a game on Saturday. I know, I know. <laughs> well, the players were manhandled, blindfolded, earmuffed, and dragged through various places. The, the best bit, the whole best bit of this is Mark has written this, right? And the final <laughs> sentence, can I please say what you've written on. the final sentence, right? <laughs> Partick's Belgian midfielder, Bryce and Tamboy, tried to run off into the wilderness but was caught. <laughs> He said, I've had enough of this. I'll leg it. I can't yeah. be more than four or five miles away. I'll leg it. I can't. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. But you can like, we him. have to get him back. Wrestling We've got to get him. Wrestling right. him to the ground, putting him in a stress position. Yeah. I'm just a midfield player. <laughs> I'm not even box to box. He's literally being held hostage. Yeah. Oh, can't get out of here. You're not going anywhere, my son. I'm a free man. Yeah. You can't do this to me. Yeah. There Where's the microfish? One of the players, one of the players <laughs> burst into tears, apparently. Yeah. And then well, one I'm of them sure had, they were. They were kidnapped oh, by the SAS. <laughs> one of them had the cheek to say, but it was good team building stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. For the SAS. <laughs> how, many, how many of them are still missing? I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in the wilderness. I love the fact that he bolted off. Yeah. yeah. He had no idea where he was in the middle of nowhere. I will take my chances yeah. with the with the Scottish yeah. element. I mean, that has gone full like Lord of the Flies there, isn't yeah. it? It's, that's brilliant. It's, oh. it's lawless. <laughs> I wish I was there for the moment where just Brighton Townway <laughs> just drops his log and just legs it. Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. nah. What was he hoping for? I'll see it. Running try. front for the Belgian embassy. Oh, yeah. I'll, see yeah. I'll, I'll see it at the stadium for kickoff. Running to the local church. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! <laughs> there oh, there we are. Like... Easy! Easy! Easy, 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 easy. Oh, easy. <laughs> oh, oh. Drop the iPad. As you heard from me on Monday, I knew they were going to beat him. <laughs> I knew it. Did cheeky we draw, Donaldson. Nearly was a cheeky draw. <laughs> <laughs> on the, the cheekiest of all the draws. Did you think at half time you think that draws on? We'll take that. <laughs> you know, we talk about our WhatsApp chat quite a bit on the Monday show. Oh. And we're always sort of a bit of back and forward talking about the game that's nah, on. A little bit of laughter. Very rarely does it all go completely silent <laughs> because no one knows what to say. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened when the third went in. Yeah. I noticed it. After that, it was mostly just swearing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. it's, it seems like a long time ago now, but my word, I'm still excited about Oi, it. Did you see us? Did you <laughs> fucking see us? Marcus Marcus on CNN talking about that performance. I've never seen a more happy... Do you know what it reminded me of, Pete? Full of the judges. It was such humour. I was like a like, dog with two dicks. Can I tell you what Donald it reminded me of? Donald Trump <laughs> getting the nomination. <laughs> it, was, it was just a dog with two dicks. Can I see that yeah. erase you? It reminded me, Marcus speaking on CNN about England beating Spain, reminded me of those adverts you get when people win the postcode lottery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're presented with a big check. Jeff, yeah. Jeff Brazier around, uh, around your house. Uh, I, don't, I, I, just, I just can't believe it. <laughs> it's going to change my life. Uh, it's fake news. Fake news. Yeah. Okay, we scored three goals. The greatest three goals. Um, oh, my goodness. Is that Donald Trump? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Via but, Kenneth Williams. <laughs> after a tooth extraction. <laughs> matron. Oh, matron. Okay. Uh, my good. Yeah. And now it's time <laughs> for going... Oh, net three-pointman. <laughs> <laughs> That's dreadful. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, there we go. And now it's time for going for gold. Um, yeah, press the button. Oh, I was, I'm trying to Tickle your try ivories. Why do we have to, to say it every show? Press the button. So, the heat is on. Fuck it. The time is right. <laughs> Still not sure of it. We'll be there in a minute. Sorry, did you want a shot? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> then we go again. Yeah. So, the Respect it. Wank up. I really like a short version. Lord. Don't play it again. If you interrupt the going for gold <laughs> theme tune again, Marcus Speller. If you don't tickle those <laughs> ivories. <laughs> Repete. We're going to go for the Rewinders at Pirate Radio Station. Rewind. Demand. Yeah, shout out. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. There right. we are. Godspeed, Andy. Oh, we wish goodness. you all the best, my friend. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for going for gold. It is time for going for gold. As if the tension couldn't get any higher. <laughs> are you going to whinge about how long the going for gold damn music is, Marcus? Maybe. No, play it. Play it. I love it. Whinge. The time is right. It's time for you. What you to play the game? As people are coming, everyone's trying. Trying to be the best that they can. To reach for the sky. Oh, you know. 
It's, a, it's the whole thing. You're not. Uh, <laughs> get his smoke, mate. I thought it sounded a bit different. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't removed a second from this one, has he? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> People are just skipping this. Yeah. No, they're not. I'm loving it. Long. He's dancing. All we need is a little more getting it right. All we need is a little more getting it right. You're damn right. Stay in the fight. You missed the second bit. This can't end quick enough for me. Oh, seriously, come no, on. No, you want in this, Marcus. <laughs> I didn't want to. This is your own personal hell, and we are all enjoying I it. I wanted the opposite of it. No, you. you're getting the full two minutes. <laughs> Bloody Nora. How long left? A minute. It's a minute? minute. Oh. This is you. This is what you did. This you did this to us all. I'm enjoying it. I'm not. So. so. Oh, here we go. This, right. right. It's time for you, for you to play your game. <laughs> People are coming, everyone's trying, trying to be the best that they can. To reach for the sky when the stakes are so high. It's maybe the bloody end of it. For going for gold. Where's the glow? Come on. It's got to, I've got to get the whole thing out. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, what is this? Jim, go for it. For it's gold. This is some sort of extended edition. Da, 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 da. little slight. I should point out Pete's wearing a Japan shirt as well. I am. Lord. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. The payoff at the end is Don't, brilliant. It's worth know, it. It was worth it. Come at me, bro. Yeah. 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 He put gold at the end. He, yeah. he did, did so, like yeah, the end bit. did yeah. it all. So. There we go. Is anyone still that, listening? I'm happy. Carry on. I mean, they've sat through a lot of football chat. Yeah. So yeah. if you can't enjoy that, you can't enjoy anything, in my yeah. humble opinion. Jimmy Clark! You either choose Woodward or you choose him. You go, just get rid of them both. Just get, just get rid of the whole thing. Get rid of the whole lot. Because if Mourinho was to go, then there's talk of Zidane. Uh, and Antonio Conte had got a credible mention recently. And I think that's the link with Beppe Marotta, isn't it? It is that yeah. link. So you think, oh, that would make sense. Or do they go for somebody who knows the club well, an ex player, somebody like that? Because I believe Steve Bruce is available. Oh, for that. there we At go. The Jim, don't interrupt. It's all, it's all a <laughs> yeah. ruse for a link. There we go. That's all it is. It's a long ruse. That. Yeah, he's yeah. had a. An awful week, hasn't he? he I has. mean, from the from from the sheer sort of, uh, I, I suppose, uh, what would you call it? Getting, th- I mean, getting a cabbage thrown at you. Mm. That's a new one. We don't want to see people getting. Well, the, the you heard we... details of this cabbage. Go Apparently, on. it was very heavy and would have done some damage. Oh, yeah. yeah, Jim, I'm telling you now. It's a cabbage. It's right? a disgrace. I'm telling you now. If you were to pick, if someone said to you, look, at some point in the future. Without you telling you, someone's going to throw a vegetable at you, but you can choose the vegetable. Not having pack a cabbage. Choice. Cabbage is, cabbage is, pack choice is my limit. Cabbage is the bottom. It's, yeah. it's heavy. Yeah. It's bulky. Yeah. What pack about... Choy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I guess it depends I like where it's thrown things. from, doesn't it? Peas. Pea, a yeah, peas. Peas. <laughs> Peas. One peas. What about a sweet potato? A That's quite, hard. You don't oh, want that. Jim, yeah. Come on. No, I'm saying, yeah, you maybe a butternut that. squash would maybe be worse. It's Pumpkin. unwieldy, though, isn't it? He's got yeah. no give. A sweet potato is a tuba. Not is a it what? It's a tuber, not a vegetable. <laughs> Does it not count as a vegetable? I don't think. It, I don't think so. A uh, potato definitely doesn't. Mushroom. It's a, fun, yeah. it's a fungi, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's in the same. Let's bit talk of the no, so If someone says to you, "Hang on a minute," if someone says, "Oh, you're having, you're having roast beef and veg," and yeah. someone serves you up a mushroom, that's not a vegetable, is it? <laughs> Near enough, isn't it? It's well, in no, there. But it's in you, the wheelhouse. Well, found in the ground. Fuck you. You could, <laughs> you could argue it was a weird steak. Found yeah. in the ground. <laughs> Found in the ground. Is that why you're not a waiter, Pete? Imagine yeah. that. I'm sorry, but I'm, I've got a mushroom I'm here. It's found in the ground. Yeah. F off. Pete, I'm Pete. highly allergic to get out. Get out of my restaurant. <laughs> you are a man who spent enough time in kebab houses to definitely have cabbage run at you before. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. It's very undignified, isn't it? But I, I do want to... If you... I don't think they got past the first mm. hurdle. Didn't so there get, we are. Didn't get a sniff. All right, then. Mm. Let's uh, have a look at what's been happening on the Ramble WhatsApp group. Oh, yes. Uh, Phil Neville. And hang, on, hang on. Do your jingle. Oh, oh, you want the jingle? Sorry. Jingle? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I, I forgot it's best part of the show. All right. It's time for the Ramble WhatsApp group chat. Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? No, I've not got a jingle. No, we haven't got a jingle. For God's sake! There we go. <laughs> I thought you really needed that, did you? Best jingle in podcasting, in my opinion, that. Yeah. All right. 
brilliant. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yes, Phil Neville and the Lionesses qualified for the World Cup in France after beating Wales 3 0. A fantastic result that was. Good mm. news yeah. for, for, for everybody concerned with England there. Um, Phil Neville, of course, in an article, I think it was in The Guardian, said he speaks with the players every day over WhatsApp. Well, that's relevant because we're mm. in the WhatsApp yeah. chat here. He said, every single minute of the day, I know what the players are doing. Mm. I know every part of their lives. Ugh. I know about their animals. I know about their <laughs> partners. I know if they go to the cinema, if they have an ice cream, I know about it. I mean, it may it, or may not have been said in that tone. Can I, can I just say, it starts off with Phil trying to sound like a proponent of the aggregated marginal gain system. <laughs> yeah. A student of Dave Brailsford yeah. and ends up with him sounding like Jamie Dornan's character in The Fall. <laughs> Um, he's, he's a TV like, drama about a man who stalks women and kills them. Yeah, I he mean, sounds like an abusive like, boyfriend. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't sound like WhatsApp to me. That sounds like some sort of like Cambridge Analytica style tracking device <laughs> yeah. that's just fitted into everyone's phone. Well, yeah. old Fizzer knows his onions. Fizzer! And what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. Absolutely. And their partners. Yeah. And his ice cream. Yeah. And he knows his ice cream. And he sheds. <laughs> Fizzer, just take a, take a chill pill. Take, take a step Have back. Have a relax. Pill. Mind you, 3 0 results speak for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> He said, uh, "No, they did." Judging on his results, yeah, <laughs> they're so frightened that they're, 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 they're <laughs> yeah. unbeatable. Yeah. And, and, and frightened to lose. Player, iPad. Yeah, every player has to have this iPad, this special iPad from yeah. China. Yeah. They've got to that take I've it got. around with them. Phil all the time. Net signing up to Phil Net. <laughs> don't Net. put tape over the cameras. There's yeah. loads of cameras you don't even know about. What, okay. um, what browser? Let's are you, be careful now. What browser are you using? <laughs> Phil Net. Are you, you use Phil Net? <laughs> Phil Net. Yeah, it's a Chrome extension. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, wow! Do. If you, not, got... it's not nice. More, more, I'm more annoyed about the way he describes having a WhatsApp group with every player. Two people is not a group. No, it's just no, a it's chat. a conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. WhatsApp yeah. couples. Yeah, um, by Phil Neville. Um, all right, what else have we got? Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. So you know, you wonder whether it's actually right to be given friendly caps. Essentially, like, when when Rooney didn't put English football on the map, we're not talking about like Jorge Campos or something like that. Like someone who was what? charismatic and exciting and <laughs> I don't think Mexico. I love that you've played <laughs> in Colombia. Yeah, well, I'm just, just thinking Hugo of something Sanchez as someone who sort of like was polarizing, but also kind of like gave yeah, this gave them from? a bit of big well, he's he's not, a charisma. He's not Diego Maradona. He's not Diego Maradona. He's not a person who sort of you look back to these kind of like. Why is Campos the first player you thought of? I love that. He mentioned him on Monday, didn't he? Did he really? No, I didn't. No. The, but the colours and the kind of excitement and, I, and when I think Just about Mexico colours. when I think about Mexico in 94 I think of, of shapes Campos. and colours <laughs> I think of shapes and colours yeah. I've been very rude today Jim um, I like it like it's it, it, he didn't do that like we, we're was, already a footballing force he scored force. over 50 goals for England that's why who this gives is a the, flying shit well I think <laughs> What, you? Did Alan Shearer get one? I know he wasn't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Did Alan yeah. Shearer get one? Well, you've used the Campos smoke screen. <laughs> very clever because all the shapes and all the colours. One thing I will say: comes, one the colourful flag. Campos Trojan horse it's opens Campos, up. Campos flag. Alan Shearer pokes his head out the belly and goes, "Who here then?" <laughs> Donaldson. Campos Pathetic. flag. Campos get flag. Us, get us another nice. cap. Yeah. Where's me testimonial later? <laughs> Where, where's me cap? I know I retired early. Probably. Eight years early to preserve my thumb career, but it doesn't matter. Oh dear. But if you, if you do like her, and then we'll see how we get on. Amazing scenes. Amazing scenes indeed. Talking of amazing scenes, let's crack open the WhatsApp group. Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Have you got a little jingle for that, No, I've not got a jingle. No, no, we haven't got a jingle. For God's sake! Steady with the language. I know English isn't your first. Steady, <laughs> steady with the language. I know English isn't your first. A welcome introduction into the WhatsApp group for the first, but hopefully not the last time this season for former estate agent and all-round <laughs> professional idiot, Jeff Shreve. Yeah. Cheers, Jeff. Yeah. Cheers, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> well done, Jeff. Oh, dear. So if people haven't seen this... Or oh, for people um, who are overseas. Yeah, Alec, uh, Jeff Shreves did a post-match interview after the Arsenal game with Alexander Lacazette and who else? Someone else. I forget who it was. Another another Arsenal player. And um, Lacazette said the no, word... Was it, was it a Birmingham? Might have been. But the, the Sorry, point, you're right. You're right. You, I think he was with him. He was talking yeah. to Lacazette yeah, yeah. And, and Lacazette used the, uh, was answering a question and used the term clean sheet, obviously in a heavily French accent, accent. Mm. to which Jeff Shreves thought he said shit on telly mm. and told him off. I thought he said... <laughs> I was thought he was about talking the about the balls. Yeah. I was he'd, okay. He'd confused... Um, testicles with balls. He said oh, Czech had taken was. a lot of balls or yeah, something. Yeah, it, 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 rather than saying it had taken really? a lot of balls, rather than he had taken a lot of balls. I thought he thought he said shit instead of sheet. Either way, it's Jeff brilliant. got it very it's wrong. Brilliant, yeah. 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 Jeffy Shreve. Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> That's the end. BT Sky, sorry. It's Sky Sports. Sky. Sorry, then we can cut BT out. Um... I'll play that again, basically. It's uh, Jurgen Klopp not being 
exactly sure who he's talking to, so yeah. he checks the microphone muff uh, and the logo on it. And uh, Jeff Shrews could not be more annoyed. <laughs> could not be more annoyed. <laughs> Do you want to buy this semi or not? <laughs> Do you want to buy this semi or not? It's got a lovely it. garden. Here it is. What is it, BT Sky? Sorry. It's Sky Sports. Sky. Sorry, then we can cut BT out. Um... It's, yeah. it's Sky, Sky Sports. Sports. It's Sky, Sky Sports. Sports. You, you must know who I am. You're simply <laughs> on the face of the channel, of the sport. Uh, the man who was only not fired from Sky because he had a day off that day. <laughs> 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 and you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's fair to say Jeff Shreves making a boo-boo has been a huge part of our WhatsApp chat this, yeah. <laughs> this, this last few days. Enjoyable. Uh, and something else that's... Just do it, but only three at a time. Oh, I think Dr. Doolittle's fine for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got an email from... I'm going to keep it anonymous because uh, um, it, it's a bit oh, chippy. Is it time for a jingy? Is it time, time for a bed? Uh-oh. Time for a bed. You know, it's... Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's back again. <laughs> 2018 remix. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy it, chaps. Hi there. Anonymous from London here. Hope you're all well. I've been listening to the Football Ramble for over two years now and on the continent ever since it started, and I love both shows. However, I've become rather annoyed with one particular aspect of my relationship with your good selves the consistent ignoring of my correspondence. <laughs> I've sent a fair, fair few emails to both shows in the past few years and only once had one read out. I appreciate you must receive many from listeners every week, but it's frustrating to be such an active participant in regards to the email section of the Ramble and the On The Continent mailbag, and I'm constantly ignored. I'd like to think my emails have been worthy of being read out on both shows, and in an attempt to make that happen, I've varied it up when it sent them. Sometimes close to when you record, other times well in advance. I've also mixed up the headings of the emails in terms of capping and content, but it appears to make no difference. And to add insult to injury on an episode of the Ramble that followed immediately after it sent an email, Pete ended a strikingly short email section by saying, We've not had many emails this week. What about mine? <laughs> As said, I appreciate you must generally get a lot of email, but by the law of averages, I really should have had more than one read out by now. Could you possibly provide feedback in regards to why most of mine are not made it to air and what I could possibly do to get an email read out on the show? That would be much appreciated. P.S. I obviously don't expect you to read this email out. <laughs> Pete, is that our first email from an incel? That's... <laughs> he's all right. He's I'm just, just kidding. I'm he's just, just, he's just, just enjoying I getting love... involved and we finally read out one of his emails. So thank you for that. Yeah. If you didn't even say anonymous, you didn't even say his name. Sausages. You didn't say his name. His name is Sausages. Little sausage boy. Anonymous sausages. Anonymous sausages. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> where at the end of the email section, Pete? Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. Peter, where can people get mugged off? If Very so. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, this isn't. Oh, oh, steady. We've worked hard for this studio, young man. <laughs> People listen to this show. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey. Anyway, what do you think? What's that group? I know, Peter, you're, you're, Peter you are um, dying to bring something to this group. Yes. Yes. We talked about it uh, during the week on WhatsApp, so bring it to the table right now. So, um, Go on, mate. <laughs> we spoke about this gentleman uh, yesterday, prompted by uh, an emailer who I must admit I forget his name, but Nelly Yoa. Um, a sort of um, in Australia, a, 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 a man down under. We spoke myth- about it on Thursday show. Thursday didn't we? show, yeah, yeah. A, like a mythical kind of slightly Walter Mitty kind of character. <laughs> uh, he slid into our DMs. He's been he hearing did. what we've been talking about. We've been talking about him. <laughs> You, Always listening. Bring people up to date on, to, on who he actually is. Uh, he's a man who claims to be to a, a footballer. Or claims to be a footballer. Friend like of the trials. Stars. Yeah, friends of the stars. Friends to uh, you know notable Usain uh, Bolt is runners. Big, Usain Bolt and apparently. stuff like that. Uh, well, he slid into our DMs basically with pictures of him in football kits, uh, hanging out with uh, the aforementioned Usain Bolt. Um, get your facts right before talking rubbish on air. You might get more listeners. Yeah. And then is that we'll have a lot less though? content, young man. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little while later, uh, he sends a picture of uh, his American Express. He's like an American. Ex- he's got a lot of American Express swag, basically, yeah. uh, that he's got in his but house. He, he sent us a picture of a pass, like a, a work pass, yeah. with his face on it and his name, which said American Express Field uh, Relationships Manager underneath. Yeah. Which basically means that he's got. A job at American Express, but yet he's also tweeting, doing little videos (laughs) saying thanks to American Express um, for extending my contract and I'm happy to be sponsored by you and stuff. Maybe he's sponsored for what? Past his probation? Maybe he is. I think fake it till you make it. He's spreading the good word for the Amex. Someone's told on us, haven't they? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If you work for Amex, let... Maybe you can clear it up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we do have the wrong end of the stick. Yeah. And, and then later on, uh, he, he he went back to, uh, no offence intended, just harmless fun. Still love the ramble. Can I be a friend of the show? Oh. Nelly, Nelly, you can be a friend of the show. Put you that on your Twitter. You, you can are, ride with you us, are Nelly. a football ramble brand ambassador. And, and just, just so you guys know, 
Um, I've just typed in Nelly Yoa American Express mm. into Google, yes. and the first result is American Express issues cease and desist letters to Nelly Yoa. So, <laughs> but that so, could have been ages ago. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been ages ago. They've it's come got, round. It's Google. It's got the date on it. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it is. To be fair, it's January 2018, but he's had he's had legal action threatened against him by American Express. I'm just right. reporting it because okay. it's out there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Good old Nelly Yoa. <laughs> And then the next the next entry is Nelly Yoa stands by his story despite days of denials. <laughs> <laughs> See where this well, is going. This is, this is what he's doing. He's doubling down. He's got yeah. to, isn't he? Yeah. He's got to protect the brand. Fake it till you make it. I'm having yeah. it. That's what, that's what me and Marcus used to do when we first started this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're important. Yeah. Oh, I listen, I, I'm not a man who... Ha- I don't mind the hustle. I don't mind no, the hustle. No. I'm happy. I don't mind it. I'm on board. I'm just saying, when you slide into the DMs to a man like Pete Donaldson, yeah. that's when you make it personal. The world's greatest lover, yeah. I hear. Yeah. That's what I've been hearing. Let's yeah. get him on a ramble meet. <laughs> Pete Donaldson. Jurex is Pete Donaldson. Magnum, thank you. Magnum, Pete Donaldson. You know, sponsored by Agent Provocateur. Yeah. Magnum PPI. <laughs> Imagine me and some undigrundies. I'd rather not. From Agent Provocateur. We don't have to. We can oh. just remember back Pete, when you did that about a month ago. Pete Donaldson and Agent Provocateur lingerie. <laughs> you just imagined the new live video for, for our next show. <laughs> oh, you old rotter. Anyway, Nelly, you if you're listening, good, good more power to your elbow. Absolutely. Get back in touch. Why not? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> speaking of those, he needs points badly. And at home to Brighton, I mean, Brighton are doing well, you know, one sort of three in the last four and so on. But but these are the games Cardiff have to win. But then, but then, oh, of course, yeah, but then, yeah. they'll, then they'll lose it and then Neil Warnock will just say he's had a lovely day out and then the Cardiff fans <laughs> will just go, on, go on miserable yeah. as they have every bloody week. I, I would be it, annoyed at Neil Warnock's demeanour uh, if I hadn't endured it through a full championship season yeah. <laughs> Neil, as a Cardiff Neil, fan. Neil, if, 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 if Cardiff lose this game, the post-match press conference, Neil will be like, They've got no real cause to complain, have they, these fans? I mean, no one expected us to get in the... Oh, All right, Neil, we know no one yeah. expected you to get in the Premier yeah. League. You're in there now. Yep. It's 11 yeah. games in. Yeah. You've got to get on with it. As was pointed out on Twitter, death is inevitable. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, although we're a cracking game, you know, obviously we're <laughs> wrong side of it, you know, but uh, you scored two goals, you go away. We conceded three. Why are you all happy about Neil, that? I'm looking forward to my retirement home, which is Cristiano Ronaldo's abs. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm going to end up. Neil... Neil um, Neil has also got the quote of the season, of course, which is when Joe Rawls was sent off for that vicious assault on oh, the yeah. Spurs player. Yeah, and he yeah. said, I don't see why that has to be a red card. He's not endangered the life of the player. The life? <laughs> that's not the law. That's not the laws of the game. That's that's not, not, that's the have appealed that. that they is, appealed that. that. That's the bar, isn't He's it? He's not unplugged a life support machine. <laughs> Yeah. He's not endangered the life. I mean, I've looked at the replay. There's no decapitation at all. <laughs> minimal, minimal, yeah. if anything. Yeah. Oh, Has anybody died? Right. Have you been watching Game of Thrones, Neil? Yes, I have. <laughs> Was it a flawless victory? Mortal Kombat fatality? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Did he pull his heart out and eat it? No. Yeah. He enjoyed Game of Thrones, didn't he? Yeah, given, he would, yeah. given, you know. Sean Bean's art. <laughs> Neil, uh, Neil, um, Neil like, ends the press conference by going, Get over here! <laughs> he just punches his head off. <laughs> That's exactly what we'd all like to see. He does it all the time oh, in training. Neil Warnock dressed as uh, Scorpio or Scorpion? Scorpion. Sub Zero. From... Sub Zero is the blue guy. Yeah, yes. Scorpion's the yellow one. Scorpion, I think. Yeah, yeah. the yellow one. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, They're yeah. brothers. Anyway, what are the other. <laughs> are they? Do, do you know your Mortal Kombat law? I'd love to see... Um, Who's Sonya Blade? I'd love to see uh, Joe Rawls in the game against Brighton <laughs> halfway through the game trying to chase back, for, stop a counter-attack, take off his razor-sharp hat <laughs> and throw it at the attacking player and slicing him in half. There we and go. Neil going, that's a yellow! Yeah. That's a yellow! <laughs> Did man. lightning come out of his hands? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the odds then? Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of Raiden uh, of Neil Warnock pre- uh, being, being an unlockable character in Mortal Kombat? Uh, but no, if Brighton win, however, they'll go up to 17 points, which is a decent tally, especially at this stage of the season. Now, Fulham, Huddersfield, Cardiff, Newcastle, Southampton, Burnley and Palace are all on between five and eight points. Oh, it's like a paddling not many, pool is it? full of nonsense, it, it, isn't it? It's not many. For God's sake. What? Did you hear that? What? It's a paddling pool full of nonsense. Oh, I thought you said something else. Carry on. Good lord. What did you think you said? <laughs> well, I can't no, tell you. Let's not say that. Yeah, I can't tell you. Carry on. Good lord. <laughs> later. Say it later. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we were tiptoeing I mean, on the line that, there, that, gentlemen, <laughs> rather than uh, the right side of it. Uh, it's a very poor jail. <laughs> <Yeah, say that>. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> imagine that. Everybody hold no, their tongues. Don't imagine um, it. Brighton, of course, will want to stay away. <laughs> From that group, Peter. Yeah. Won't they? they won't want to be near. Not in the paddle and pull. I think, I think what we've established here is, is all the best, Mark. We're pulling for you. Go on, Marky, baby. And we're pulling for Southgate's 
st- steeds <laughs> as well. <laughs> studs. Studs. Southgate studs. Yeah, as well. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Right. In the absence of going for gold, Luke, what yeah. have you prepared for us? I've I've thought. Um, well, we talked about Kevin Keegan earlier. We did, didn't mm. we? What, and, and since then, you've come up with something. No, I had it planned. Oh, did you? I had it planned. I told you there's a Kevin Keegan section coming up. Yeah. We don't have pizza. There's no going for Globe. But what I'll do is I'll do a little Kevin Keegan-based quiz. Oh, man. And the winner out of you two can get a point on the board. I know I, know I can't get it. Uh. Um, so what I'm going to do, chaps, I've got, I've got six quotes here, three each. One, three for you, Jim, three for you, Marcus. And I'm going to read you the quote in turn. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want you to tell me whether it's an extract from Kevin Keegan's new book <laughs> or it's a quote from Katie Price, a.k.a. Jordan. Okay. Okay. So, and the winner at the end gets a point, all right? So they're, they're, they're pitched to each of us. We're not... Uh... Yeah, you get one each. Okay. I'll, I'll go back Does this forward. go towards the going for gloves? Yeah, it does. I told yeah. you. Oh, sorry. You just mentioned, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're not listening to me. It's just I Kevin just, Keegan. You just said Kevin Keegan and I lost yeah, it. Yeah, you got me into <laughs> one of fugues. Yeah. Right, okay, Marcus, you're going to go first, okay? Oh, no. So here's the quote. Yeah. And you need to tell me, just to be clear, yep. if it's from Kevin Keegan's new book or it's a quote from Katie Price, who's also known as Jordan. Yes. Okay. I came up against a wall of incompetence, deceit, and arrogance. You really couldn't make up some of the things that happened. That's Kevin Keegan. Is it Kevin Keegan? Correct. It is Kevin Keegan. Yes. You're right. What I need is like one of those things where, where I can give you a, a thing for a right answer. What about... Have a, uh, go, have a go with the buttons. Don't play the whole thing. Have you got a little jingle for that, Pete? Oh, that's a WhatsApp group. It's a WhatsApp group. Have you got a little jingle for that? No, I've not got a jingle. No, we haven't got a jingle. For God's sake! Gonna... What's this? Hi, I'm Kevin Keegan. Yes, oh, right. To the football ramble. So if you Brilliant. get one right, if you get it right, I'm going to give you that thing. Right, so Marcus, okay. you're one up, okay? All right. I should have planned this before, but I'm <laughs> right, Jim, ready? You're getting yep. the, Pete's uh, legacy just sort of you, you, I, 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 it, through sort of uh, what am I trying to say? Osmosis from you. the thing comes through, and uh, there we you're go. Struggling. Just press the button. Yeah, Jim, ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of these are quite curveball-y, so just yeah. bear that in mind, okay? Our wedding tent was made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it was disappointing because it looked like it had come straight out of a B&Q flat pack oh man that, that is a tough one <laughs> that is a tough one I'm going to go Jordan alright let's find out yes it was Jordan <laughs> yeah, there we go there well, we go. well played. So, Marcus, you're up next okay right. ready sorry I, where's the where's the keggy I don't, I haven't, no you can only get a keggy if it's a keggy alright oh, I see yeah do you know what I mean oh, that's very confusing but listeners can keep up right. Marcus you ready yeah Unfortunately, with the media, the red tops, the ones who can be loyal, when I say loyal, it's a game. This is a game we're in. If it's your time to get picked on, then you get picked on. And you know, I'm used to that. That's Jordan. Correct. It is yeah. Jordan. This is easier than I thought. No, I've, no, it's ultimately a guess. But the first one I knew was Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim, you're up. Ready? <laughs> Tabloid hacks were dispatched to find out if there was another reason why I was down some lover's lane. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Peggy. Hi, I'm Kevin Keegan, and you're listening to the Football Ramble. Correct, it's anyone, too old. Yeah, if anyone doesn't know the story, that's from the time he was hit with a baseball bat in a label. That's not funny. That's not funny. Though, I, is it? Just Someone reporting what happened. Yeah. yeah, you can't laugh at that. No. Uh, okay, Marcus, you're up. It might, if it's a draw, you both get a point. I was sick of them. Sick of the way they were riding rush all over me. Sick of being treated like dirt. Oh, that's. Ooh. Ah. I think that's Keegan. You sure? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> You're listening to the football oh. round. Right, get Jim, in there! You need to get this one right. Sudden I death, do. Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I will confess now, yeah. I did sort of make Jim's a lot easier than Marcus, because I thought yeah. Marcus would get some wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so this one might be a bit easier. Okay. Uh, and then, Don't do that, I oh, will yeah. love it. It's got to be, it's no. got to be. <laughs> ready? Are you ready uh-huh. for this? I am. Okay. It wasn't Mike's beer guzzling. Oh, that I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, piss off. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's Keggy, isn't it? Hi, I'm Kevin. There we King, go. And you're Three all. To the football you both get a point. All about that. Yeah. Hey? Well, I'll tell you, you've mugged yourself off because now we're a point ahead of you and it so, evens out over us. <laughs> <laughs> it would even itself out, yeah. <laughs> Mario insisted it was just a harmless joke. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Um, a a favourite bust up of mine is between uh, Emmanuel Santos and uh, the family of Cristiano Ronaldo. Santos is, of course, the guy who um, created that terrible, literal <laughs> <That statue>. bust <laughs> of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Nice. Um, and also another one. So I'm, I'm similar to you, Pete. I really enjoy these mad ephemeral things that just mm. happen sort of out of nowhere. And sometimes the circumstances, when you add them all together, make them seem absolutely crazy. And a favourite one we've spoken about many times on the show is uh, between Tony Pulis and James Beattie. <laughs> now, um, they just lost 2-0 to Arsenal. And I'm so delighted it was Arsenal that made this happen. And um, Tony Pulis got them, made sure they were coming in for extra training, basically. Uh, but it was the night of the Christmas party for the Stoke players. James Beattie objected to that and got a got a headbutt in the shower, didn't he? Naked. From, from yeah. naked Tony Pulis. Naked headbutt. Why is Pulis having a shower with the team? He's working just... hard. Warm up. Apparently Carlo yeah. Ancelotti showers with the team. Sure really. A bit of, bit of cohesion and yeah, all that. Yeah, fair enough. But a, a naked headbutt. Shower, naked headbutt of Tony Pulis. Can you imagine I mean, a harder thing? Headbutt. Jim, yeah, I, think, no. I think it's 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 the only place where we could end. <laughs> quite frankly. And, and the scariest <laughs> thing about it is imagining Tony Pulis without a baseball cap. Yeah. Let's assume he had his old chat. Maybe he had it on. Yeah. A little one on this penis. To be fair, if if someone if someone is only wearing a baseball cap you'd still describe them as naked yeah you would yeah yeah. (laughs) but what about a little tiny baseball cap on the end of his penis make make, make my penis hard again on it there's probably a little bit of skin (laughs) that juts out from his forehead yeah so even with a baseball cap off he's got it's a a ridge it's like a little ridge cave where oh my oh my god (laughs) make my penis hard again mr pulis said Almost freak show curiosity. If you were Almost to a read documentary my... in motion, yeah, yeah. you're watching. If you were to read my school reports, there's a, there's a splash of that. That's all I'm saying. Is yeah. there? Yeah. That, when Mike was saying that, I, I kind of shrank in my chair a little bit. Mm. But that's almost like what, what we're saying, though, is with, with the, the Mavericks in this context, though, is that they are also like tremendously talented. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's very much not on my yeah, school. Yeah. If, if you're just yeah. been a bit of a dickhead at school. Yeah. Is that, a, I mean, is that, I can imagine you saying to your teacher, I'm a maverick. Well, no, <laughs> the, the teachers would always say, he, if he just applied himself. Yeah. I had a bit Which of is very but did much. You, but when did, did you, you really went downhill when you said to one of your teachers, Pete Donaldson doesn't do homework. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Set Pete, fire to it in front of him. Pete once told me that, um, at school, um, review type as a school type performance where yeah, people yeah. have to get up and do stuff mm. he was supposed to do something with his mate uh, I forget what it was but your mate let you down what was it you were supposed we were going to do, do the Trevor and Simon sister brothers yeah, act right. that no one his, remembers his, from his going mate, live his mate didn't turn up so uh. Pete ended up having to do a one man <laughs> stage show improvised mm-hmm. around the 90, 80s and 90s sitcom Bread Mm. Really? Mm. I've actually yeah. done That's a, there's your maverick. I've, I've been yeah. in a similar situation to that. I was okay. supposed to do a double act thing with a friend of mine who didn't turn up. Um, but what I had was a copy of Jordan's um, ghostwritten novel. Uh, <laughs> and I thought we would just read extracts from it and it'd be funny because of how bad it was. But arrogantly, hadn't actually picked any out. Right. He didn't turn up. Oh, Jim. I just got really drunk to sort of deal with the nerves of it. Uh, I ended up drop kicking it into the crowd and it hit a lady in the face. And she, was, <laughs> Jim, she was not best pleased. I wow. never knew you had maverick tendencies, I never knew Jimmy. how much of a maverick you could be. And that's yeah. how you won the Premier the Perrier. <laughs> You should have done a bread one man stage show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it had been done. I'd those, heard. Those, it was those, hack by that point. <laughs> it had those, been defined. By- you, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the football ramble. Liverpool was scintillating, Arsenal were beaten, and Neil Warnock wasn't happy. I just realised my autocorrect changed it to Neil Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a fire top mountain. Oh, mm. that is a medieval sitcom I can get behind. <laughs> Love that. Why have we not thought of that before? Yeah. It was a lovely bit of magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. I was just sat here boiling, <laughs> boiling up an, an eye of newt. Just right now some incantations. A mysterious traveller came by. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to be late. I just jumped on my carpet, got there in five minutes. <laughs> carpet? <laughs> yeah. It's a horse. Medieval, I said. Oh, okay. Not I was Arabian just going on through. I was just going on the whole magic thing. Yeah, fair enough. I'm international, me. <laughs> 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 we'll get the Warnock in a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. A nice Maybe. up-to-date reference. I mean, he has, he has got a very quick feet. He is a hell of a oh, yeah. uh, footballer when he... When that he... goal, in and out of Dusty Bluebell. Come on. In and out of Dusty Bluebirds. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. That's... It was danced his way through, didn't he? Yeah. That's an in-joke. Very, very good. Certain people of a certain age in Scotland would only get. Oh, that's about my kind of jokes I like. <laughs> <laughs> the dusty bluebell. Old Neil Warlock was unhappy, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> one of his elixirs. One of his elixirs didn't work. So angry. Oh, was, I tell was you, l- when I get back to my fortress, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a good levitation. Um, <laughs> Again, he's wrong. They don't do that in medieval stuff. Warlocks. They <laughs> levitate. Do they? Warlocks weren't real, Luke. You know that. They can do everything. <laughs> Then why is he called they're, Neil Warlock? They're male witches. No. Did you know I had a wonderful thing recently that That's a uh, wizard. that when uh, when no, he's right it's when Warlock. when the Romans were sweeping across Britain, yeah, everyone was terrified. Of course, a load of warlocks um, 
uh, or not warlocks, uh, druids, but they sort of uh, very different. Have a bit of a. <laughs> I like it. No, carry on. No, 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 no but it's a legitimate no, no. religious group. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, had, let me finish. <laughs> they they retreated to was it the uh, is it the island of Anglesey? Um, on North Northwest Wales. Yeah, yeah, that can make sense. They yeah. retreated. There. I was told this by a historian, by the way. Yeah. He's also a friend of mine. Yeah. And he said that they re- retreated there, and they were on the on the beaches, and they were sort of sort of casting spell or doing all these sort of weird arm moves. And the Romans were a bit like, "Whoa, whoa, we're not going, going over there." there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that right. Love that. A warlock apparently is a male practitioner of evil magic, distinguished from a wizard or a sorcerer whose magic may be benign. And the, the etymology derives from the old English war loga, meaning. Oathbreaker or deceiver. Yeah, mm. female witch. So, Neil the deceiver witch, warlock. Yeah. I mean, he's been hiding in plain sight the whole time, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he has, yeah. <laughs> Neil anyone who saw that, anyone who saw that um, <laughs> bit of, uh, in quotes, magic from Joe Rawls against Spurs earlier in the season, <laughs> yeah. that was definitely evil, Indeed not benign. Was, yeah. Uh, what a, exactly. yeah, for that reason, I endorse your position. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Southampton became the unlikely side to end Arsenal's unbeaten run. They did. That's very true, mm. Pete. It's very true. You sound a bit like Marcus then, Pete. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, 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 but yeah. not as good. <laughs> just kidding. Just, kidding. Yeah, yeah. just more northern. But better. Mm. Not as sober. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Peter. No, come on. <laughs> Danny Ings and Charlie Austin scored the goals. They did Charlie score Austin the goals. scored a nice one at the end. Uh, will... Completely unmarked. Header. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, yes. It's, 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 it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. That <laughs> marking was a joke. They're unbeaten think... for 22 games. It's a joke. Did you see him talking to the keeper at the end, though? Sort of going, and the keeper's going, this close. I was this close, that bloody thing. Was he? Yeah. They were yeah. being really friendly about it. I quite like that. I wanted him to just kind of get a little toe on. Sorry, Jim, I just gave you a little toe there Sorry, as man. I was acting it out. I wanted him to just just, just nudge one in off the toe and at the end say, it's a poke, it's a poke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't that? Yeah. Um, I like him to go and look at the uh, the Egg 11 and go, <laughs> it's a it's yolk. yolk, it's a yolk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bloke. Or step- I'll do the build up. Yeah. Sorry, so I'm just, a bloke, I'm a bloke. Yeah. Just step in a, a, in a Twitter argument and someone's saying, why are you getting involved? Going, I'm woke, I'm yeah, woke. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> are you having a Pepsi? It's a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Blue Peter. I'm Noakes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like jazz music. It's folk, it's a folk. <laughs> There we, oh, yeah, there we go. There we are. Right, there we uh, back in. Uh, yes, yeah, Southampton's first home league win since April. Why aren't yeah. you having a shower? I fancy the soap. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough now. That's enough. Now. Why are you really slow on the football pill? I've been having a toke. <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it when Luke's in. Luke's got one more and he goes right that's enough move on yeah. no. <laughs> I've had my say yeah exactly yeah. exactly it's something he, he did wrong well, I, so yeah I think he yeah, should I think he should be yeah, banned I yeah. agree Can but, I, they, but they shouldn't ban him until he says oh I'm unveiled as the new Bayern boss or yeah, whatever yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, by the way, with that, Jose, yeah. you think you can outflank us? Yeah. House always wins, big boy. Two season ban. <laughs> <laughs> Have you signed that? Has the ink dried? Ah, yeah. oh, that's a Two shame. season ban. Yeah. No pay. Um, <laughs> can I just, before we finish up, read you the title of Richard Key's most recent blog entry? <laughs> yes, here we go. I love it. I tell you a story like that. Yeah. I'm reading all this of it. I enjoyed you, it. You focus on Keyzy. Yeah. I, I was for crying for his Twitter the whole time. There's a, so this is Richard Keyes' blog. Yeah, That's what key, I like about this. I mean, your key to sports. Yeah. There's, a, there's a scene. There's a scene in the office where Ryan the Temp <laughs> sets up a blog for. Um, oh, who's that guy? Who's like a, he's kind of like a, a miscreant. Um, ah, oh, in the office in the US, Creed. Mm. Creed. My favorite character on the US office is called Creed. It's so and, good you can't remember his name. I know. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And he basically sets up a blog for Creed and he he basically just sets up a Word document and he thinks it's online. And he says, even for the, in the internet, it's a bit extreme. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit extreme. No, Keys is actually is online. It right. is online. Okay. Um, and his most recent blog post is called Qatar, the mighty atom that dared to dream. <laughs> <laughs> that man is fucking toilet, isn't he? Yeah. It is. It's a very, Jesus. very low quality. It is individual. extraordinary. He thing. is... <laughs> One of the worst men. Yeah. yeah. And men have done some bad things. Yeah. Oh, dear. Not as bad as that. And men should split the atom again, shouldn't they? Yeah. That's what they should in, do. Fatberg. In, in, in Richard Keyes' presence. Harry Fatberg. Mm. There we go. <laughs> you can't go anywhere after that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening to the Football Ramble. It's been an absolute pleasure. Of course, we'll be with you again on Thursday for the preview show. Say goodbye, Luke Moore. Oh! Football Ramble's a mighty atom that dared to dream. <laughs> Say goodbye, Pete Donald. Bye. Say goodbye, Jim Campbell. It's extraordinary. Oh, daft little show, silly podcast. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your neck out. Right, let's go to Pete's bonnet. It's time for emails with Peekman. 
It is tough. Why emails. I start, Peter? Yeah, of course you can, baby. Because I, <laughs> that's the <laughs> kindest can, thing you've ever, ever said to me. It's not Pete's emails anymore, it's Pete's bonnet. Pete's bonnet. bonnet. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, the, you can pop the bonnet on I'm for a bit. I'm going to climb in there <laughs> and, uh, there's bees in it. and do some much-needed mechanical work. <laughs> don't fla- don't f- sort of flare around at the bees, just let them get on with it. I have received much correspondence from this uh, from, from our good listeners, and it's a croach, a croach? It's a quote from Peter Crouch. Okay, okay right. And yeah. it simply says this. We got back from an England game one night. I just peeked into the bar. I heard some music. Sven was on the piano, tickling the ivories, and Todd was on the accordion. Todd was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> tickling the ivories! I love it. Of course Todd. Sven They've got like was. a little lounge combo. Todd what? was amazing. That is, I mean, come on. Imagine come seeing, on! Imagine Sven, back to the entrance, so Peter Crouch walks in, <laughs> Sven's just tink- tinkling away, yeah, yeah. yeah, leans over, Peter! Come over. Yeah. Come over. Yeah, no, bring them with you. Peter's in a, a sexy chiffon number. Yeah, course, he yeah, gets yeah. up on the grand piano. Oh, might be how he met Abby Clancy. Could be. <laughs> surrounded by so that. She's strictly come dancing. Yeah. She's doing that. <laughs> to true. be fair, one of the few instruments that you do play with a grip is an accordion. Yeah. yeah. It's called grip. <laughs> That's why. That's it's called why grip. Perfectly. Ah. Yeah. What Nomin- else? Nominative determinism. What else was Sven tickling? Yeah. Uh, Peter Vaginas. Go- is, that <laughs> is that what you're suggesting, Marcus? Clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> he always Be dances. bold about it, yeah, Marcus. He always dances around it, around doesn't around he? It. Uh, He's like a proper I, sports commentator. Uh, hang on. Giggling away. I asked the when question. When someone says about a willy or a googly or something, I don't know what they talk about. <laughs> You're about googly. Pianos. In cricket. Yeah. Wait, you can imagine Sven, Peter saying to Sven, Todd's really good on that accordion, yeah. I oh, know. He's, <laughs> He's great. He's great. Great grip. <laughs> Oh dear! Right. <laughs> it's, sort of like, it, it, it's throwing a player right in, and, yeah. and we can kind of move on to great debuts. Can I, can I bring in um, Faustino Spreas for for new great debut for great debuts? Because like, I guess, he, was that away to Middlesbrough? It was away to Middlesbrough. Yeah, he changed. S- the game. Signed in the morning. Yes, signed in the morning. Uh, and it was a really cold day. As well. It was. A, it was a, he came in with a fur coat. You got That's that, right. I, I it was a league game. It was a league. Yeah, league, game. it was. Yeah, yeah it was a proper game. I've right. yeah. yeah. just checked. So, oh, Tino, so Tino gets in. Flies in from Italy. Tina. Drinks a glass of red wine. I thought Ke- you'd say Red Bull. Keegan, Keegan red says, wine. get on the bench. He's like, I've just drunk a glass of red wine. Yeah. Just after, well, I've got to finish my wine. <laughs> yeah. Keith Gillespie goes off with an injury, I think. And he got, and Keegan, classic Keegan, yeah, let's throw him on, fuck it. He <laughs> puts Steve Vickers in, yep. a, in a Cruyff turn bin. Yeah, he, I remember <laughs> that. It absolutely does him. Yeah. Yeah. You missed a bit, Keegan. He's not a defender, is he? No, get him on. Get him. <laughs> Steve Watson headers it in, and uh, he, yep. he, uh, he makes an amazing debut. I remember exactly I, I remember where I was. Well. I was listening to it on the radio at the corner of uh, of Park Road and York Road and Hartlepool on Radio Newcastle, and I was like, "What is happening? Hang this on, is sorry. amazing!" You were stood on the corner. Why were you stood on the corner? Like, like, should we not ask? Con- like a con- Mike Lee version of The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was working my uh, you're corner. Ro- you're slinging rocks? I was selling rocks. I was slinging rocks. <laughs> How did you upset your family and they told you to stand outside? <laughs> well, were, you, were, you, were you in the house? Say again. Were you in someone's house on the corner? No, I was stood... I remember... I was stood. <laughs> it was winter as I well. I had a portable radio. <laughs> it was... If you could cold, believe such a thing. It was winter, wasn't it? Yeah, I was wearing a big fur coat like Why Tino. were you outside stood on the corner? I- I was stu- I stopped because exciting things were happening. Oh, you on the was radio. going somewhere. I was going somewhere. Okay, yeah. what, and you where were just carrying a radio with you? Oh, no, 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 it's a portable. Get on that radio, boy! Blasting out, blasting that radio, new McClaws. Blasting out McClaws. Where were you going? I don't know where I was going, but I remember listening to Radio Newcastle and going, "Fuck, this is exciting." Yeah, this is a really northern story. It really is. So, next, next oh, the, but it's welcome. A great one, next Peter. Next to Cub Scout Hut. Hang on, let me let me where, let me just paint, was, let me, let me just paint the picture for people listening. Hang on, like, don't say that. They might be. They might be, <laughs> might be, might be I was the one who was touched out by Wait, a vicar. Look, like, that'll do. Yeah. What? Carry right. on. What? That'll do, Your Honour. You're doing this on purpose, and you're making it worse. <laughs> I'm not. I'm trying to show you. It was next. It. It, was oh, next to, it was next to Cub Scouts. So can I just make this clear for the listeners listening at home? Right. You have left your house with a little transistor radio. This is not. To be fair, that's fine. This is not an episode of Serial. Just answer the question. Right. You've left the house with the transistor, transistor radio. radio. You've got no headphones in, you're just playing it out. No, <laughs> no I've got headphones in. Oh, right, okay. Right. There we go. All so right. he's walking. Thank so you. The way he phrased it yeah, yeah. was mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's <laughs> walking on the street listening to the radio. Yeah, That's what fine, he's doing. But, I mean, the way you phrased it, you had a fur coat on and like you've got, a, <laughs> I'm picturing a boom box as I used to be, you know, just on the corner. Yeah, I had a bit of car diamond 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 diamond. This town's too small for me. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right. They call me the teen who asked for your art, the <laughs> 
Um, oh, talking of shite. Imagine if like Pochettino oh, did that. You've messed up the link. Sorry, speaking of the goal, carry on. <laughs> FIFA uh, <laughs> facing fresh calls to investigate the Qatar World Cup, which is going to happen in 2022, we think. Um, yeah, the bid uh, due to new reports claiming Qatar offered FIFA 400 million dollars before they were awarded the tournament. It's, a, a, it's alleged that a secret 100 million dollar deal. There you go. Stick that towards your surplus. Was offered by Qatar state not run, a profit state run broadcaster Al Jazeera. Qatar Al means Jazeera. Qatar. Three <laughs> weeks before Qatar were awarded the 2022 World Cup. Mm. Yeah. Richard Key's unavailable for comment. I think. Well, well he's, he's not seen any wrongdoing. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> In his probably literal ivory tower. Yeah. I uh, I saw this story and it, and it and it oddly it warmed me cockles. I thought yeah. to myself, we used to really hammer FIFA all the time and whatnot, mm. but. Since uh, Andrew Jennings uh, and the FBI and all the rest of it got them, we, we, actually they have, they have done a pretty good PR cover up of of you know getting people off their backs a bit and actually because I bearing if in we, mind this is a dereliction of duty from true. us. True, uh, but when you say pretty good, you're right. People might say, well, hang on, we know there. Are... No, considering what it was, <laughs> yeah, they, I think the PR job has been actually okay. Uh, but the allegations were first made in a book called "Whatever It Takes: The Inside Story of the FIFA Way." The Sunday Times they have seen. Uh, documents that they 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 have claimed that they've seen documents that allegedly state in the event that the 2022 competition is awarded to the state of Qatar, Al Jazeera shall, in addition to the rights fee, pay fee pay to FIFA into the designated account the monetary amount of a hundred million dollars. Isn't that how like things work? <laughs> Um, U- US was, dollars. We, we will do it here. Hasn't we'll... that bit number four? <laughs> yeah. I was listening to any of that because I was just going for Richard Key's Twitter feed. <laughs> okay. He's not. Uh, he's not talked about it. Yeah, no, he's talking thought. a bit about Alan Pardew a lot and some stuff about Volvos. He hasn't mentioned the mighty atom that dared to dream. No, no he hasn't. While I was uh, while, I, while I was away in Taiwan, there was a, a local um, man who was called Andy Gray who was offering um, scuba diving lessons. I saw that. Yeah. Did, did you splash it in Taiwan? <laughs> 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 very good very good um, yeah. yeah so there we are good old FIFA I'm trying mm. to think of like, it was think... just banter it was just oh, I can't think of anything uh, Manta Ray <laughs> yes Marcus that was very good Manta Ray very good. wow was... can you guys hear oh, I got what? stung it was just Manta as we're about to <laughs> <laughs> as we're about to finish get the off show. the beach <laughs> <laughs> Very good, very good. Yeah, um, if you, uh, it was extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> bream? Oh bream. yeah, bream is bream. I know what you meant. Because uh, they were in the second tier at the time, were they? I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They might have. They might. If I might have had the season in the top flight with Leicester, but yes, they weren't. Um, they certainly weren't continuously a top flight side, mm. like uh, he had um, <clears throat> with with other teams. But we really know him at Leeds, of course, is brilliant midfield with Strachan, Batty and Speed coming through the academy and whatnot yeah. there. Mm. So it was, it was a really good side. So, so nine years, roughly, before that. It's odd, isn't it? Because players burst onto the scene so young now and, uh, and whatnot. But, but when he was at Leicester, he was uh, turning heads and, and putting in performances and was attracting attention for the big sides and nearly went to Nottingham Forest under Brian Clough. And Clough, he had a meeting with Clough and as the story goes, apparently McAllister was wearing cowboy boots. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Which seems very unlikely. Very yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, I oh. cannot, but talking about picturing the guy with hair, <laughs> yeah. picturing him with cowboy boots. I'm picturing him in, in cowboy boots, just completely Billy Bollocks um, or Greased Off. Pat <laughs> Stetson? <laughs> It's Stetson, yeah. 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 He's not Magic Don, Mike. He's not Don Hutchison, mate. <laughs> Magic, <laughs> Mac. Magic Mac. Magic yeah. Mac. <laughs> Magic Mac. Well, yeah, he Mac went... Mac, Zach and Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Max Strack and Crack. Yeah. That's another <laughs> chat show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a late night one. Yeah. Well, he um, he went for this meeting and. He apparently, you know, apparently Brian Clough <laughs> saw the, the cowboy. Sorry, Marcus, investigative documentary where yeah. Mac and Strack go out and investigate the cracking epidemic mm. I'm on the streets of it, New yeah. York in the eight, late 80s. Mac Strack and Spack on crack. Yeah. Right. yeah. Back streets like, back. I put, <laughs> I put Nigel Spackman in there again. Yeah. Sorry, Marcus. Oh, I wonder right. when, this, when this series would break us. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, they're going to have to go and get an away goal anyway. So it's... Little, by the way, Jim, little Dicky Bird tells me Harry Kane might actually be fit for second day. Mm. Oh, yeah. Son he's will be back. Take off his big he's definitely yeah. Son yeah, being back will be absolutely huge. Yeah. 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 Um, did you see at half time in that game? Paul Scholes' son, Aaron, tweeted. <laughs> so good. Amazing. He tweeted a message directed at uh, Matthias Licht, De Licht uh, saying that despite his desire to see the Dutch defender side for Manchester United, he should go and enjoy his career at Barcelona because Man United are wank and have a team full of bell ends. <laughs> 
Mm. It's, well, I mean, it's, it's funny. I'm Paul Scholes and I approve this message. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's nothing that, you know, any other 19 year old Man United supporting lad isn't posting on Twitter every weekend. No, I love how he takes after his father. Paul Scholes. Yeah. Well, I, I, I can't sort of think about Paul Scholes as a kid because I know the joyless little copper slug he's come from. Right? Oh, saw, oh, saw, what did you call him? A joyless little copper, copper slug. slug. He means his penis. Not on ginger, little, little slug <laughs> popping out of the shorts. Remember that? Yeah. It yeah. did. When he gave everyone that, a little that, treat. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what gave that child life. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's raining. I'll have a little look Pete. around and see what's going on. If, you, if, you, if I may be so bold, mm. that's very much the quiver, the testicles with the arrows right, in that okay. situation. It's uh, not uh, the delivery yeah, mechanism, okay. really, isn't it? It's not really the actual source the of trebuchet. the... trebuchet. Yeah, it's not the, the source of trebuchet. The, I don't yeah. think you're, uh, you're respecting hey, enough source. Of, of, <laughs> of how much his mum played a part in that. Yeah, true. Paul Scholes, it was probably a more of a minority job, if you see what I mean. Scholes just whacked it in from 30 yards out. Yeah. He was there. He... <laughs> and, he, and, and, and when he held him in his arms. Room, when he... From the next room, through a surface, to, like one of those little doors you get to serve food. <laughs> when he held him in his arms the first time, he said, You, son, will grow up to slag off a quite frightening subpar Man United team in the future, and I'll be very proud of you. Absolutely. No, he flew out of volley for 30 yards. Yeah. Bang! <laughs> but well, the, I mean, you better. Um, Spurs, though. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, 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 to be fair, he didn't stick around very long, did he? Yes, yeah, so that makes sense. Mm. Okay. Can well, we do, there we are. Can we do something else now? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Sure. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> no um, Did you see the video of the uh, the player getting subbed on? Uh, I can't forget what yes! it was. Yes! I want to talk was about this. Scandinavia? Yeah. Swedish second division. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it for Dager, Dager Fors? He gets it's subbed a... on with a high five and his, high, his gloved high teammate high fives him in the eye. <laughs> He makes about 10 yards onto the pitch really? before he realises he can't see <laughs> and then says he has to be subbed off. Incredible. I want to know if he still gets his um, appearance bonus for that. <laughs> he should do. The game get him in the appear. The game finished with a draw anyway. <laughs> yeah. Or in this case, he's a pirate's. Yeah. What would happen if that was, a, what would happen if that was the last substitution? That would be a disaster, uh, wouldn't could it? Could he not continue? I think I he was able to continue. I, I think he's oh, all right. was he able to continue? I thought he had... No, I think he, he had treatment. Oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I think he's okay, actually, because mm. there's talk of him maybe going to Poke City. <laughs> that Poke is... City. No, not even close. Poke City, no. no. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. always been... I mean, his, his <laughs> coach you, for, his coach said has always been a very diligent pupil. <laughs> I, I regret bringing this up. <laughs> they also celebrated that draw by going out on the eyelash. <laughs> eyelash? <laughs> of course, if he, if he yeah. really does improve and, uh, he, and he sorts himself out, he'll play for Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this vitreous humour. Let's end the email. Uh, that, well, Nick Cook basically brings it off. It brings uh, oh. that particular player up. And uh, who are the players uh, would you most like to poke in the eye? Um... <laughs> Goalkeeper, ex Everton goalkeeper Steve Imanson. <laughs> <laughs> there, right. there we go. Is that are. enough for the email? The optic nerve of it. Sure. I don't know what's going to end up right now yeah. as we speak. So yeah. there we go. Let's see how it goes. We, right. we were all fans of James Richardson back in the day. It's nothing yeah. to be ashamed of. He's a lovely chap yeah. as well. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of. He's fucking though. funny as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm used to sitting in a room with you three. <laughs> hey. Right then. Here we go. The season predictions unveiling bum, begins. Bum. So we predicted Premier League winner, relegated teams, dark horse, first manager be, to be sacked slash leave, top scorer, player of the season, player with most red cards and some notable mad shit. That right. happened. Mm. So should we start off with Premier League? Oh, you got second. That's not bad. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but it wasn't on the mark. No. Uh, top scorer, Mo Salah, Sadio Mane and Mr. Obama Yang. So, you know, a lot of choices there. Yeah. Who who got one of them right, Luke? I went Sergio Aguero. Um, mm. Petey. Uh, Obama Yang. Did you? No, no you didn't, didn't do it. You forgot to fill it in. <laughs> yeah, Watford. When, <laughs> got, when, Peter, when, when Watford. we got Charlie to do this to remind us, he, he comes back, he goes, oh, Luke, a bit of a problem. What's that? <laughs> Pete hasn't done a top scorer. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's going to be a bummy. I'm going to. I already knew. Everyone it's, knew. You're, it's annoying because you're less wrong than yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Were you thinking that nobody would score? I spoiled my, <laughs> no, yeah. no goals, yeah. <laughs> my legendary goal record. I just spoiled my ballot. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Jim. Uh, I went for Harry Kane. Yeah, I went for Harry Kane as well, and that didn't happen. That's funny that we all missed it. I know. Really strange. And there were three winners. Because we know a lot about football. <laughs> yeah, but I, th- I think Mo Salah was the one that somebody should have gone for. Pete, yeah. perhaps. Other than James Richardson. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, player, player of the season. 
It's fine. And happy Easter. And happy yes. Easter, That's everybody. That's why we're doing it. It's Good Friday. Oh, it's a very good Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and Could gentlemen, say, we're in agreement on this one. <laughs> I have done and made absolutely no notes for this. No. <laughs> I just thought, I don't yeah. want to scupper it. I don't want, I don't want, to, I don't want to be Should we just leave and just down. let Marcus get I mean, on with The only thing I've got is that picture of that kid who um, uh, shaved wait, his head. wait. I mean, where else could we finish, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for this the grand a, finale? This is a part of Marcus's rider when we suggested this idea. <laughs> <laughs> when we started the very podcast, yeah. we've been leading up to this. It's Sven, ladies and gentlemen. Of course it it's is. It's Sven. Sven, Sven, Sven. Goran Eriksson. Hen Goran Eriksson. It works. Egg Top of the, the pecking order. Yeah. <laughs> A sexy egg. Is he um, sexy? I mean, Pete. Bald, he was once described by a tabloid, as you can imagine, in the hair like Jimmy Savile, as a balding smoothie. Yeah, mm. you always call him the balding smoothie. smoothie. <laughs> Is that where that comes from? The balding yeah. smoothie. And he's yeah. now the bald smoothie, isn't he? Or yeah. the smooth well, smoothie. He was an egg in a nest. A glorious was... nest, by the way. Yeah. A voluminous nest. <laughs> yeah. A silver voluminous nest. A nest of a not a golden eagle, but a silver e- a silver yeah. eagle. He has exemplified every <laughs> every stage of being an egg. I think. <laughs> um, yeah. What did you describe him as? Something. Was, was, sunburnt bollock. Yes. A yeah. sunburnt bollock. Yeah. I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Where, 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 I just want to give you the floor. Yeah. yeah. Um, played in the Swedish fourth division. What is it about? What is it about the that attracted? <laughs> Didn't you? think I'd say that, did you? <laughs> what is it that attracted you to the uh, to the smooth millionaire Sven Jorn Eriksson? I like just that? I just think that that after England, right? And we'll talk about England, obviously. There's for some to, reason, to say, yeah, yeah. For some reason, it would always bring a smile and a chuckle when Sven was mentioned. Because there's there's plenty of other people in football called Sven, but for some reason, it's just a funny name. And I see his little <laughs> face, his little bald face, and he, d- he just <laughs> <laughs> he just makes me laugh. You, That's it. <laughs> did you like him from the start? Um, <coughs> excuse me, I um. I'm getting interviewed here. This is like, yeah, this no, is yeah, your no, life. This is, <laughs> did you, no, did you, this is probably what this is going to be, to be did honest. Did you grow to love it? Managed Manchester City. He did okay, but eventually got sacked. Had an unsuccessful stint as Mexico manager. Then an indifferent time at Leicester City. Yeah. You, you could say. I can't, I can't forget about that. Yeah. It is a strange one. Mm, yeah. It is a strange one. And then after Leicester. Did it feel nice having him close? Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> and then after Leicester, he followed the money. All the way to China. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you could, if you, if you said he was ahead of that curve at, yeah. at the time, at the time, if someone had said to you, China are about to become a big player financially in the world of football, who do you think is going to go there first? Well, Sven's already there. He'd be right yeah. at the top of it. Yeah. He's already Colonel Kurtz. It. Yeah. Where's Sven? Where's the money? There yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. There he Feel is. Feel like Yakubu. Oh Hot my on goodness. His heels. Uh, he did have a little go with the Philippines, didn't he? Sven in the he's Philippines. Still there as a consultant. It's yeah. A great well, job. Yeah. well, he was probably the full, the full time uh, manager in their first Asia Cup appearance as well. Hmm. And who can forget that? How yeah. much is enough, Sven? <laughs> yeah. When's, when's it we're going to stop? I mean, he does like that part of the world, of course, the Southeast Asia. Do you remember Dietmar Hamann? Yeah. He said he never quite clicked with Sven at Man City, but he, I think it, was, it must have been at Man City, but he said there was a pre-season tour, or they, were, they were away somewhere, there was a swimming pool involved, and he said, uh, he, said he, was, he was by the pool having a relaxing time, and, and Sven came over with a, with a bottle of champagne and two glasses, and Hamann said, so what's going on? You know, pops the cork, and he pours the, gla- he pours, pours the champagne, and he says, what are we celebrating? Life, Kaiser. We're celebrating life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. And then, and then Harmon went on to say that Sven said, "You know, in the future, I think I'm going to live in Thailand with two women. Yeah, two women." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that scenario of, of Sven and Deep Mahaman uh, is exactly the same as sometimes what Pete does to me at like five in the morning when we're away for a week. I'm going to look well, life, my friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> life, two women. I mean, if you. Everyone well, pray silent for Marcus's Tom Jones impression. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>